Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing a first impression. Wonderful. So, I've had quite a few arrivals this week. And this was one of them. Most of them arrived on Monday. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. Um... This also arrived on Monday, but it was the first one to arrive. And I haven't done a video on it yet, but I have wanted to. And the fragrance I am talking about is called Sacred Scarab by Zoologist, the new release. So I'd heard this was coming out and I went on the website and saw that the samples were available. <clears throat> excuse me, and I decided that I would get one. And so it, so it did. And here it is, as you can see. Bought and paid for. I am quite looking forward to it. It is in partnership between Victor Wong and Sultan Pasha. Sultan Pasha has his own brand where he makes like a Tars um, and he makes like it uses like outrageous ingredients that come from like all around the world. I don't know if he's ever compliant. I'm not really bothered. He kind of is known for like ouds and incenses and things like that. I'm not huge because I'm not into that sort of side of fragrance community for no other reason than I'm just not. Um, but I've obviously heard of Salt and Pasha around and I am intrigued to see how this smells. Excuse me. Once again, I must hydrate. But here we are. I shall read the. Re I wish I shall read the review. I shall read the blurb, and I shall spray the fragrance. This is going straight on skin, because I don't have to test like three or four at a time now. You know. Um. So I am looking forward to this. Sacred scarab, perfumer Sultan Pasha. Guided by the sun. The scarab propels tightly packed dung back backwards toward to a burrow lined with dusky spheres. Underground, it deposits a precious egg into the ball. In time, the lava hatches and feeds until it emerges, fully formed. An instinct drives it down the same dusty trail to repeat the cycle. Like Egyptians entrusting sacred mummies to tombs for the journey to the ne next life, a scarab buries, burying its treasure marks the dawn of a new life. Zoologist sacred scarab catches, captures the mystique of kiffy incense, a blend of blue lotus, raisins, plums, olibanum, myrrh and juniper. Once bound with wine and burned in ancient rituals, today this divine scent guides your spirit on a path to discovery and rebirth. The notes. Top notes. This spray sour thing is actually quite good. Top notes, aldehydes, lemon, civet. Heart notes are blue lotus accord, wine accord, and plum. And the base notes are cedar, galbanum, juniper, labdanum, myrrh, oak moss, olibanum, raisins, styrax, and musk. It's a big base you have there, sacred scarab. So, it's got a very indie feel, indie niche, incensey sort of thing going on. Um, get the aldehyde blast straight away and the lemon. Oops, let me put this back in. But then. There's something like, I think it's got to be the Lotus. Because um, I've smelled Lotus in like a couple of other people's perfumes. And it's got this, it always reminds us of like indie perfume. Because it's it's a very indie note. You know, it, get, it gets used. I don't want to say quite a lot, but it gets used in indie perfumes. That's going to fall over, isn't it? No. 
it gets used in indie perfumes and when you've smelled like quite a few you can smell it around instantly got this I don't want to say I don't mean abnormal in a bad way I mean abnormal in a good way you can tell straight away that it's not it's not a designer perfume you know it's a good thing a modern designer um it's more niche it's I'm getting the myrrh and I'm getting the I'm starting to get like the first like the beginnings of like incense very nice very very nice very pleasant lotus is lo uh, the, the big houses just mustn't be interested in in lotus but i smell it quite a lot i'm sure pete has got some lotus in some of his fragrances and i quite enjoyed it there because i can recognize that in this this smells a bit like a, um like a centauri perfume you know i can imagine peter making something like this With the reputation of like ouds and atars and stuff, you would be like, you would be forgiven for thinking this would be heavier, but it's not. It's very, very well balanced, you know, especially when, when I was reading the note, the note um, breakdown, it was bass heavy. Uh -huh. I've got to admit, I have smelled this before. I sprayed it when I first got it um, on Monday. I smelled it and I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I like it. It's decent, but I don't love it. Um, but I can imagine a lot of other people really enjoying it. I can smell the galb in a minute now. It's got this green kind of fresh. I don't always think galbanum smells fresh, but it's got this green life to it you know like you know like like i'm recording this in the middle of june there's life going on everywhere you know june in the northern hemisphere there's like was like at the height of spring spring summer you can hear birds chirping in the back that honestly sometimes the perch on my window and i'm like what are you doing get out of here you're a bird stop perching on my window I wonder what they think. I don't know. Maybe they would eat a sacred scarab. Sorry, I'm just I'm off on a tangent now. Juniper in the base is an interesting one, isn't it? Maybe that's giving it like a bit of like life, you know, like like because I always associate juniper with like fizz. I get a fizzy sort of vibe from juniper. Um a little bit of sweetness as well. I imagine that's like the wine, the plum. It's nice. It's good. I'll almost certainly revisit it. I will use up this sample and see how I feel about it. Um, as of yet, I'm not like I'm not like running out the door to buy a bottle, but I'm also not closing the door to buy a bottle to buying a bottle either. Very pleasant. It's very niche, indie, that kind of thing. But it's quality. It's well made as well. So I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Try it. Get yourself a sample. It's well worth it. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed my first impressions of Sacred Scarab. I have. I will see you again soon. Goodbye.